Bali Tatani, our political reporter, also speaking to various people today. And Bali, good afternoon to you. Quite an important speech by the President. On an unprecedented day, conference being paused. What are people there saying? That's certainly right, Stephen. Of course, we have never seen something of this nature. But they did attribute, you know, why conference has been adjourned and why it is set uh, to then resume next year, virtually, just before the ANC holds um, its January 8th statement, and that's, of course, its, its birthday or anniversary uh, celebrations next year. But I'm just going to bring in Mr. Derek Hanukom, somebody who has served on the NEC for more than 20 years and who has decided not to come back and serve uh, in the NEC. See again. I'm going to bring him in now. Mr. Hanukom, thank you so much um, for having this interview with us. Of course, it has been a very long five days. Even though it has been a long five days, still we could not conclude the business of conference. Thanks, somebody. Was it only five days? I, it felt like 50 days. <laughs> it's been a long one. Um, yeah, and uh, I must say, like in many conferences, you know, you start off a, a little bit shaky. Uh, challenging moments, lots of challenging moments, perhaps more in this conference than any other conference, uh, but we survived those challenges and we end the conference, conclude the conference on, on a high note and in the process of these difficult five days and exhausting five days, people start finding each other again. People start setting aside their differences. The differences emerge very strongly at the beginning of the conference and people come in you know, with their own ideas and their own agendas, etc. But in the course of the conference, we start recognizing that we all need each other, that the country needs us, that what happens in the ANC has a proud, profound effect on the rest of the country. And so we have a huge responsibility which rests on our shoulders to unite, uh, but to unite behind a sort of a common principles and a set of values that will uh, change the image of the ANC restore the good image of the ANC and this is what people on the ground want of us. This is what the majority of delegates wanted out of this conference. So those who tried to, let's say, possibly even disrupt the conference at the beginning, they represent a minority, but a noisy minority. But at the end of the day it was brought under control and even that minority recognized that this is a futile exercise that at the end of the day the ANC is bigger than a few individuals who are hell-bent on, you know, setting us back and holding us back. And so it, it ends on a high note, a, tire, a, a note of, um, of, of optimism, a positive note, and a, a renewed commitment to doing the things that we have to do. Of course, and you are talking about, you know, coming into this conference, uh, one could say that there were clearly two camps here, but it is indeed the other camp, uh, the camp of... Uh, uh, you know, uh, President Silva Maposa that ultimately yeah. uh, retained and re made him retain uh, his seat once more uh, for a second term in the ANC. What do you make of the newly elected top structure? Only three uh, of those members managed to come back. Of course, that is President Silva Maposa, um, as well as Gwede Mandashe and Mr. Paul Mashadile. What do you make of the newly now elected top seven that is set to unite uh, this party? Well, I'm, I'm perhaps the wrong person to ask that question because I've been campaigning for this group of people who are now the team of people around President Cyril Ramaphosa. I have said many times that it's not just about the President but about the team that is going to work, be working with the President uh, at the end of the day that includes the National Executive Committee. So I feel good. I feel good about it. Um, I have confidence in them. Uh, nothing is perfect. Uh, I don't believe that there were just two camps here. Of course, there was a camp of people uh, who were vigorously opposed to the re-election of President Ramaphosa. They didn't want him to have a second term. But actually, there were many groups of people, which is healthy, it's fine, groups of people with their own, with their own lineups, with their own preferences. That's the nature of a conference. I think the, the lineup and the campaign, which was called a Renew 22 campaign, which I've been very actively involved in, was the dominant one at the end, and we showed that it was the dominant campaign. But it wasn't about just Sir Ramaphosa and giving him a second term, but actually taking this, the very thing that the President stressed so strongly at the end now, when he closed the conference, is taking forward a, a really deep fundamental renewal process and addressing the challenges of the ANC. And I must say, 
I come out of this conference more confident that it will be done and can be done than I did five years ago. How grueling was this campaign for you this time around as compared to 2017? <laughs> well, you know, I just had a more, let's say, more active role in this campaign than I did in 2017. But I think it was different by its very nature because the, um, you know, the things that have unfolded over the last five years, we could say um, that this NEC that is now no longer here and that is being replaced um, had, had serious differences amongst ourselves. We had serious differences, but we also did some things, some good things, and we took forward not at the pace that everybody would have liked to have seen, including ourselves, but implemented some of the key resolutions of the last conference, like the step aside decision and, and, and various others, I should say. But um, the, I think there was a different kind of tension here. That conference, there was a contestation. This conference, uh, there, were, there were people who were simply out to get the president and, you know, were hell-bent on saying, we've got to get this president out of the way. That wasn't the case at the last conference. There was a contestation, and you know what the outcome was. But this time, there was almost a, a scary challenge. And it wasn't just people in the ANC that felt we needed to take up this fight but many, many outside of the ANC who felt that this was a watershed conference and that the outcome of this conference could profoundly affect the economy, our country, uh, the stability of our country, and all of those things were under threat. But nonetheless, those who were threatening it, you know, uh, I don't like to use the word were defeated, but the dominant view of ordinary branch delegates was that this is our country, this is our movement, uh, we've paid a lot. Many people have sacrificed their lives not to see our country collapse, not to see us uh, mismanaging the economy, mismanaging our country, but to see us creating a better life for all of our citizens. That's our mandate, to serve the public. And the majority of, of ordinary delegates feel that, and that's what they expect of us. So, yeah? You have served on the NEC for more than 20 years. You, you said to me earlier, 28 years. And yes. this time around, you've decided to decline your nomination. Why have you decided not to return to the NEC and hang up your boots? Yeah, well, I mean, there's absolutely nothing to do with any cynicism or anything of that nature. I think, you know, I have served for long enough. I've done my, my bit. And it's a long bit. And it's been a privilege, actually, to serve in the NEC and in very, various capacities in government, uh, various portfolios that I've held, it's been a huge privilege. But, it, you know, you've reached, reached the point where it is really time to move on, and especially to give um, a younger group of people the opportunity to rise, to take up leadership positions, to take up responsibilities, and to, to take us forward. And so there has to come a time when you say, actually, I've done my bit, let other people carry it forward. All right, thank you very much. Of thank course, you. that is Mr. Derek Hanukom, a former NEC member, also somebody who played a very crucial role um, in the campaign for President Cyril Ramaphosa to retain his position and to officially get that second term. But for now, it's back to you in studio. We'll be back straight after this.